Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, with a grateful heart and heart filled with thanksgiving, we lift up our voices to you this morning to say thank you for ushering us yet into another week. We thank you for last week. We thank you, Father, for everything that you did for us, going before us, destroying every crooked path in our way. We commit this week into your hands. We ask that, Father, you do likewise, the angel of your presence go with us. Oh, destroy every crooked path in our way. This morning, Lord, we are before you to fellowship, to commune with you. Oh, Lord, we ask that your manifested presence and glory and power be in our midst this morning and part to each and every one of us. And Lord, we ask that you receive our presence this morning. We offer our praise and our praises unto you. Thank you once again for this privilege. We bless your holy name for it. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We all welcome into God's presence. Hallelujah. Let's go before him. Lift up our voices and sing and praise and worship him with his songs.
Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. We'll go into our general prayers for this morning. I would know which you now lead us in that. Glory to God. Good morning, saints. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this morning prayer. We give you thanks. We bless your name. Come and be with us in Jesus' name. So today we'll be praying for our national leaders, our national leaders, the presidents, nations all over the world. The Bible said in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, it said, I will exalt, therefore, that first of all, supplication, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Prayers, intercessions be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God for our Savior, who will um, have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So we we'll begin our prayer, our first prayer is first of all, Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you for being our God over the nation and for the leaders positioned over the land to be exalted in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 22 verse 28, he said, for the kingdom is the Lord's and he is the governor among the nations. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, O oh Lord, for being our God, for being our God over the nations, for being the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Father, I thank you for the leaders you position over the land and be exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that you are our God. We exalt thee, O oh Lord. And we are praying, O oh Lord, giving you this morning, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are our God. Thank you, Lord, that you are merciful. Thank you, Lord, that you are our Father. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you for being our God over our nations. Thank you that you have made man in your image. Thank you that you are Lord over our people. We are commanded today to pray for our leaders. Father, O oh Lord, let your name be exalted over this nation. Let your name be exalted over the leaders that you have positioned over the land. Let your name be glorified this morning. You are the governor of among all the nations. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, that you are our God. Thank you that you are majesty. Your mighty hand will rule. Will rule over the nations, O oh Lord. Let your mighty hand be exalted over the leaders you positioned in this land, O oh Lord. Father, you be exalted. You be glorified. Let them bring glory to your name. You are God, there shall die. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. For he be our God. We will serve you, O oh Lord. We will bow down before you. We will worship you. We will bless your name. We will lift your name up. Thy way be done. Thy kingdom come on this earth. Let your name be glorified. You are God everlasting. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are our God. Thank you that you are God over the nations. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We stand up and begin our warfare over the nations. Our next prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, let us bind every evil forces operating in the midst of the leadership of this nation and arena of governance and decree an end to the works, making them of none effect in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in the, in the Bible, Matthew 18, 18, very, very, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall lose on earth is lose in heaven. In Isaiah 28, verse 1, woe to the crown of pride, the drunk, the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glory, glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome the one. Behold, the Lord had a mighty and a strong one, which as a tempest of hell, a, a hell and a drunk, destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down the earth with, land, with the land. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim shall be trodden under the feet. Our prayer is, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, let us bind every evil force operating in the midst of this leadership of this nation and the arena of governance and decree an end to their works, making them of none effect in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every evil. He said, whatsoever we shall bind on earth is bind in heaven. Father, any evil force in the midst of the leadership of this nation, Father, in the name of Jesus, any area of governance, and I today I decree and declare that the end of their works, I decree and declare the end of their works, making them of none effect. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree, O oh Lord, woe to the crown of pride of the drunkard of Ephraim. Woe to the pride of pride, O oh Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I call upon your name. I ban every evil force operating in the midst of the leadership of this nation, in the leadership of this nation, O oh Lord, and any area of governance. And I decree today that an end, I decree an end to their works. In the mighty name of Jesus, making them of lone effect. Oh Lord, we glorify your name. Take your position, oh Lord. Oh Lord, we today I bind every evil. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Let every force operating in the midst of this nation of governance be destroyed. I decree today the, an end unto their works, oh Lord, making them of none effect in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every pride, every crown of pride, of drunkenness, let him be shall be trodden under the feet in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Our next prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, let us stand up in the gap Stand up in the gap, ask him for our father to forgive the sins of our national leaders and purify the seat of governance in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. As you said in your word, Ezekiel, <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30. And I saw the man among them that I should make up a hedge and stand in the gap before me, O Lord, before the land that I should not destroy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come upon to you this morning. This morning, let us stand in the gap. This morning, asking our Lord, the Father, to forgive the sins of our national leaders and purify the seat of governance in this nation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon your name. We are standing in the gap. You said in Ezekiel, I sought a man among them that I should make up the hate and stand in the gap before me, O oh Lord, in this land, that I should not destroy it. Father, today, this morning, we are standing in the gap. This is the day the Lord has made. Father, we are asking, O oh Lord, to forgive the sins of our national leaders and purify the seed of the governance in this, in this nation, in the mighty name of Jesus. As you said in your word, Malachi 3, verse 3, O oh Lord, he shall, he, and he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of the silver, O Lord. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. O Lord, we call upon your name this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we stand in the gap, asking, O Lord, to forgive our leaders. Their sins, O Lord, our national leaders, their sins, and purify the seat of governance in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, by your mercy, oh Lord, we are standing in the gap this morning for the for this land, asking, oh Lord, for the forgiveness of our sins of the national leaders and purify the seat of governance in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Our next prayer, let us ask in the name of Jesus, let us ask our Father and the most merciful one to have mercy and cleanse this land that anything, if we are facing as a result of their sins in the mighty name of Jesus. It is said in your word, Second Chronicle, if the people that are called by my name, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. Oh Lord, let's pray. Our Father, let us ask our Father, the most merciful Lord, in that, 
today, O Lord, to have mercy and cleanse this land of anything we are facing as a result of their sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon thy name. As you said in your Lord, if the people that are called by your name, Father, we are calling your name, O Lord, shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves and pray and seek their face. O Lord, turn unto us. Hear our prayer. Turn our their wicked ways, O Lord. You will hear from heaven. You will hear from heaven. Father, forgive their sins. Forgive their sins, O Lord. I ask, O Lord, and be merciful. Heal this land, O Lord. Heal this land, O Lord. By your mercy, O Lord, the most merciful Father on earth. Father, have mercy. Have mercy and clean this land. Have mercy and clean this land as we are facing because of the results of their sins. Father, have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord, we ask, O Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, be merciful. Be merciful, O God. Be merciful and cleanse this land we are facing as a result of their sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, we have mercy full on the leadership of this country. Have mercy full on the leadership of this country. Please this land in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our next prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, as you forgive, pass through our land and heal our land and renewing it with the forces of righteousness in in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you forgive, pass through our land, oh Lord, heal and our land, renew it with the forces of righteousness in, the, in Jesus' mighty name. As you said in your word, Proverbs 11 verse 14 said, where there are no counsel, the people fail, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon your name. We call upon your name. We ask that you pass through this land, O Lord. Pass through this land, O Lord. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Oh, as you said in your word, pass through this land and heal the land. Eat with it in the forces of uh, with the forces of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. As you said in your if the people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, oh Lord, that you will turn and turn from their wickedness, that you will hear from heaven and forgive their sins, oh Lord. And I will heal the name, oh Lord, for in the name of Jesus. I ask this morning, forgive our people, forgive this leadership of this country, pass through this land and heal our land, renew it with the forces of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we call upon your name. You call upon your name. He said in your word that if we call upon your name and then humble ourselves and pray and seek your face, that you will turn from our wicked ways, oh Lord, and hear from heaven and heal the land. Father, we call upon your name. Heal this land in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our next prayer is... Father, in the name of Jesus, help our leaders in this in the seat of governance to be wise, to be wise, oh Lord, filling their hearts with this required wisdom to lead this nation aright in, the, in Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon your name. As you said in your word, where no counsel is, the people fail, but in the multitude of counselors that is safety we call upon your name this morning help our leaders help our leaders in this seat of governance to be wise give them wisdom give them wisdom of governance filling your hearts with the required wisdom to fear you to fear the lord oh no we call upon your name lead them in our rights lead them themselves the steps of a good man is ordered by the lord father we call upon your name all that their steps are right. All that their steps are right, O Lord. Cover their steps are right. Honor them, O Lord. Leave them, fill them their hearts with required wisdom to lead this nation and right. Fill them with wisdom, O Lord. Father, we call upon your name. Help these leaders in this nation to be wise. Give them wisdom. Fill their hearts with the required wisdom. Oh Lord, lead them their steps are right. Leave their steps are right in the mighty name of Jesus. As we call upon your name, they said in the world, where there is no counsel, the people fail. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Father, we call upon your name. Save this nation. You said in your word, if we seek that face and turn from our wicked ways, oh Lord, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins. And oh Lord, today, oh Lord, heal this land in Jesus' mighty name. Our next prayer, Father, 
in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of fear of the Lord overwhelm our leaders in the seat of governance in this nation, guiding the affairs in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the spirit of fear of the Lord overwhelm our leaders in the seat of governance in this nation, guiding their affairs in, in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in your word, be wise now, therefore, all you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear. Oh, Lord, and rejoice with trembling. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon your name. Let your spirit, let the spirit of the fear of the Lord overwhelm our leaders in the governance seat, oh, Lord. Let them serve the Lord with fear and let them rejoice and trembling. Oh, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your spirit of fear of the Lord overwhelm our leaders in the seat of governance in this nation. Guide in their affairs in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, give them wisdom. Done. Let them serve you with fear and rejoice with trembling. Let that be a fear of the Lord that will overwhelm our leaders in the seat of governance. Let them know you. Let them know you, O oh Lord. Let them be saved. Let them be guided with the spirit of the Lord. Guide in their affairs in this world. Let the people that lead this nation have the spirit of the Lord. Oh, today, oh Lord, let them begin to fear you. Let this whole nation stand in our way of your love. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Finally, oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Our last prayer, Father, today, let us begin, let us pray for the president of this nation, saying that, Father, strengthen him. Give him wisdom. Give him grace. Oh, Father, let him speak and act with honesty and integrity in all situations by, by the impact of your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we all upon your name. Oh, let your power be over this president of this country. Let's pray. Father, oh Lord, we thank you. Strengthen the president of this country. We are saying, oh Lord, give him wisdom. Give him grace. Let him have the fear of the Lord. Let him be ruled by the fear of the Lord. He said in First Samuel, Samuel chapter 23, verse 3, he said, the God of Israel said, the rock of Israel spoke to me. He that ruleth over men must be just, yes. Yes. ruling in the fear of the Lord. Oh, shakatola baragada brandi, maketola besha, father in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning over the president of this nation, saying, oh Lord, father, give him strength. Give him wisdom, oh Lord. Let your grace be upon him. Let him speak and act in honesty and integrity. Let your spirit fill him, O oh Lord. Can you have the fear of the Lord in him in all situations by the impact of your hand in the mighty name of Jesus? Father, we thank you for answered prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll go to our scripture reading for this morning. We're reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. 1 to 14, just to see you read for us this morning. Good morning. I'm reading from the NIV version, uh, Deuteronomy 32, 1 through 14. Listen, you heavens, and I will speak. Hear you, earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching fall like rain, and my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass, like, a, like abundant rain on tender plants. I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the greatness of our God. He is the rock. His works are perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong, upright and just is he. They are corrupt and not his children. To their shame, they are warped and crooked generation. Is this the way you repay the Lord, you foolish and unwise people? Is he not the father, your creator, who made you and formed you? Remember the days of old. Consider the generations long past. Ask your father and he will tell you, your elders, and they will explain to you. When the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, when he divided all the human race, he set up boundaries for the peoples, according to the number of the sons of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob, his allotted inheritance. In a desert land, he found him. In a barren and howling waste, he shielded him and cared for him. He guarded him as the apple of his eye, 
like an eagle that stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, that spreads its wings to catch them and carries them aloft. The Lord alone led him. No foreign God was with him. He made him ride on the heights of the land and fed him with the fruit of the fields. He nourished him with honey from the rock and with oil from the finty crag, with curds and milk from the herd and flock and with fattened lambs and goats, with choice rams of Bashan and the finest kernels of wheat. You drank the foaming blood of the grape. Bless the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's time for the word. Hallelujah. And we have a man of God with us this morning. The word of the Lord is is within. Let's invite Pastor Jesus as he brings the word to us this morning. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Let us pray. Oh, spirit of the living God. Jehovah, the most high God, Father, your presence we have come, O God. Your word is you, and you have lifted up your, your word above everything. Lord, this morning, let your word enter into us, O God, and let us become part of us. Let the revelation of your word be with us. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, First and foremost, I, I want to thank my father, uh, Pastor Tunji, um, for this time and for this opportunity to bring the word of God um, on this platform. I do not take it lightly, and I appreciate him for that. Um, you know, all throughout last week, uh, we've been talking about, you know, the signpost to the road of success, the signpost to the road of success. There is a road to success. There is a road for a Christian. There is a road to success. Success is a destination for us. And there is a road to that success. And this morning, we are going to look at God's leading. God's leading on that road of success. We need God to lead us on the road of success. You know, whatever we do, something is leading us. Because we are going to a destination called success. We are on a journey there and something is leading us for sure. It's either you are leading yourself, it's either the devil is leading you or God is leading you. So you choose who is leading you now, but one of these is leading us. You know, um, God, we need God to be both us Christians, we need God to be both our conductor on the way and our GPS. We need God to lead us. And in this this, this powerful song of of Moses, this is a song that Moses sung towards the end of his life on earth. You know, the first thing he said in verse four is that God is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment a God of truth and without iniquity. He's just and he's right, he's right. God is without iniquity. God does not sin. He is a truth God. He's just God. He does not sin and right is he. He is right. He's the embodiment of righteousness. God is the embodiment of righteousness. Verse nine says, The Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. The Lord said, look, there are all these people in the world. I have my own portion. I have my own people out of the people in the world. I have my own people. And Jacob is the lot of my inheritance. I inherited Jacob. Jacob is mine. The Lord's portion is his people. You know, the Lord is saying here that his portion is his people who belong to him and that Jacob is his possession, verse 9. God, Jacob is God's personal concern. God, Jacob is God's inheritance. God inherited Jacob. And today, you and I are the Jacobs of today. You and I are the children of God. We are the Christians of today. We are the Jacob of today. 
That is what puts your name right there. Take Jacob's name off and put your name right there and say, I, 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 I am the Jacob of today. God owns me today. And he said he found him in the waste howling wilderness. There was nothing there. It's a very dry ground, right? You no know, desert place, you know, and there are all these animals where every animal is hungry looking for the other to eat. He said, I found him in the waste howling wilderness. You know, Jacob was, had nothing that time. You know, he was traveling from his father's house to Laban, to his uncle Laban, going to the desert, going to the wilderness. You know, he found a place and he slept there, put a stone there, and then he saw God on the ladder from heaven to earth. And he said, oh, wow, I didn't know God was here. This is a dreadful place. So God was with him. And that was when he was he found himself in that dirt, a very desperate. He didn't know what was going to happen to him. But the big point in verse 10 said, he led him about. God led him about. He instructed him. He said, and God led him about, and God instructed him, verse 10. That made all the difference. He said, I, he, said he found him in the desert land, in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about, and he instructed him, and he kept him as the apple of his eye. People of God, we need God to lead us. We need God to instruct us on a daily basis. We need this God to lead us. We need God to instruct us. It doesn't matter where you are in life. It doesn't matter your desperation. It doesn't matter how chaotic your situation is. It doesn't matter how bad your situation is. Let God lead you today. And let God instruct you today. Because that leading of God is the turning point that Jacob needed. Now the results of God's leading. He said he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil from the flint rock. You know, on the signpost to success, we need God to lead us. We need God to lead us. When God leads us, there is a changing story. He said he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flint rock. I mean, the last place on the earth to find honey is in the rock. How, how on, there is no bee who will go and make honey in a rock. So if you want to find honey, rock is not a place that you go find by human wisdom. But when God is leading you on that signpost to success, he will create honey in the rock for you. And he said he made him to suck oil out of the flint rock. And you know, oil represents prosperity. Honey represents good things, good tidings, good blessings, and oil represents prosperity. So God made him to oil out of the flinty rock, a place where you could never have found success. God made Jacob to get success from there. And we remember it. Jacob said, uh, Laban said, look, God has made you, Jacob, even bigger than I am, in his father-in-law, in his, uh, his uncle's house. He, you know, he became a servant an employer to his uncle, but God made him bigger than his, his own employer. And that is making him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. You know, verse 13 says, you know, verse 13 explains the, the result. So he made him to ride on the high places of the earth. He made him go. Now somebody who was found in a west howling wilderness where there was nothing. Now God led him. God led him and God instructed him. And now God made him to ride on the high places of the earth. You know, other translations say God lifted him up onto the hilltops. God gave him fertile hilltop land, fertile land. And now today's uh, a translation, we will say God, uh, uh, God increased him or God promoted him. He had promotion from God. God promoted him. God moved him from the downhill to the top. God sent him to the top of the mountain. You see, just sucking, just imagine sucking honey out of a rock. A rock is that's the rock is the last place where you will find honey. But God made it to happen. God made it to happen. You see, the Bible says in Psalm 95, verse 35, he says, For the Lord is a great God, and a great thing above all God. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills, it says also, the sea, it says, and his hands made them. His hands formed the dry land. You see, the deep places of the earth are the hardest to reach places. But that is where all the treasures of life is. 
the gold is in the deep place, the diamonds, the oils, all those prosperities are in the deep places of the earth. But the Bible says in Psalm 95, verse 35, he says all those deep places lies in the hands of God. All those deep places lies in the hands of God. All those deep places lies in the hands of God. And he said, if it is in hands and he's leading you, he will give it to you. God's leading, give it to us. I mean, we can read uh, from Isaiah 48, verse 17. Isaiah 48, 17. So that says the Lord, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God, which teaches thee to profit, which leadest thee by the way that thou shouldest go. You see, he said, I am the Lord thy God. I teach you how to profit, and I lead you to the way that thou should go. You know, many, many years ago, when I was in secondary school, I had a prayer. And my prayer was, Lord, you are the porter and I am the moist clay. Mold me into the form that pleases you. I don't know where I got that prayer, but I prayed that prayer from more than 30 years now. God, I am, you are the porter and I am the moist clay. Mold me into the form that pleases you. My time is up here. But I want you to know that people, we have to be cautious and ask God daily, Father, lead me today. Lead me today, oh God. Be my leader. Instruct me today. And God will amaze you and I when that success, I mean, that secret of success will be upon us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word this morning. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I will publish the name of the Lord. Ascribe your greatness unto the Lord our God. He is the rock. <laughs> His work is perfect. Entrench yourself in him and in his ways. And he will guide yourself. He said, I will lead the blind in the way they knew not. I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light unto them. This will I do unto them, and I will not forsake them. Why not let's go before the Lord again this morning in our personal moment with God. Among other things that you have that you want to present to the Lord, this is the time that you let God hear from you direct. And among all those, it's, Lord, I submit myself to your will, guide my steps, direct my ways, lead me to where my treasures are, Lead me to the place you have prepared. He said, I send my angels before you to lead you and bring you to the place that I have prepared. There's a place prepared for you, for your glory to shine. Why not let's go before the Lord and let him hear our cry and call for his help and guidance this morning. Over to you. We'll be back together shortly.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is a good God. Father, we thank you. Thank you for being our rock. Said our rock is not like they are rocks, even our enemies themselves being judges. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless your name. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for the privilege that we have to gather at your feet, to be able to pray to you. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Never you forget daily to ask God to direct your ways, to lead you the way to go. He said, call unto me and I will answer you and show you greater mighty things which thou knowest not. That's one of the principal ministries of the Holy Spirit, ministry of the Holy Spirit to guide our ways. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. This is a new week again before us this morning. May the light of God's presence continually guide and direct and guide your paths. In the name of Jesus. There is where to be. There is where to go. May the light of God's presence continually direct your path. So I've left my angel with you to guide you and take you to that place that I've prepared for you. It's where everything is put together for you. May your feet be directed there. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. We bless you, Lord. This week, you will rejoice. He said, for the Lord has made them rejoice. This week, God will make you rejoice. You will rejoice. Because the God of all gods, like he said in that scriptures at night to five, verse three, uh, Pastor Jesus just mentioned it while preaching. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his. The sea is his, he made it. His hands form the dry ground. <laughs> For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all they that dwell therein. So not, don't let anything terrify you. They are all made by your Father. They are all put in place by your Father. If you are in Christ, he's your Father. And nothing will he allow to hurt you. So go in peace. Enter, enter this week with confidence. He said, cast not away your confidence, which has great recompense of the reward. For after you have done the will of God, you might inherit the promise. Go into this week with confidence. God is my father. He is the one guiding and leading me. He has prepared it for me. I will get to the place prepared for me. Just go this week with confidence. The confidence of faith. God is with me. That's why you start your day with him, as we do every day. You start your day with him. And take strength from him. Be impacted with light by him. And then go forth and conquer the day. Today is yours. Go in peace. This week is yours. Enter it with joy and confidence. Because you have taken the impact of his presence. Then you go. When Moses took it and went, even the face, his physical body, is reflecting rays of light, the glory of the Lord. If you have to cover to see, evil will not be able to behold you face to face this week. In the name of Jesus. I bless today for you. In fact, I bless this whole week for you. I speak well of it, that in it, nothing hurts you. In it, nothing works against you. Truly, they will come against you one way, but it will flee seven ways. Go in peace this morning. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. Make sure you are walking in the light because he that walks in the light has no occasion for stumbling. The light of God directs your ways. In the name of Jesus. Is there any particular thing that your heart is craving for? And you're saying, God, give me this. Give this to me, Lord. I say it is given to you today. In the name of Jesus. Remember, this program runs Monday through Fridays. And today, the first day of the week, we're on a journey of greatness. As we take strength from him day by day. He said, day by day, morning by morning, he wakeneth my ear to hear. He wakeneth my ear to hear the Lord. He said, the Lord has awakened my hearing, and I was not rebellious. So as you hear him, as he directs you, don't be rebellious. Don't be angry. Don't be arguing that I don't think so. <laughs> Just follow. He said, follow me, and I will make you. Follow. Because the voice of his leading will be coming your way. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. We'll be back on this platform 5 a.m. tomorrow. Keep inviting your friends and your colleagues and your families and keep doing the kingdom work. Jesus is Lord. Let's share the goodness together this morning. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you, God's people. The favor of the Lord go with you. See you tomorrow. Jesus is Lord.